Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And tonight, guys, we are looking at a McKellar beer, kind of a limited edition McKellar beer. This, my friends, is the McKellar Black Hole. Um, it is a imperial stout brewed with coffee, honey, and vanilla beans, 13.1%. But then it's aged in tequila barrels. This one, um, it is not a corked bottle. This is a cap. So I'm having high hopes for carbonation in this one. Um, and I've heard some solid things about the barrel aged version. They are a little bit expensive. This bottle, I think, was like $16.99. So it is an expensive beer. So with that said, is it worth the money? Is it worth the hype? Let me get into a glass. Did you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the McGiller Black Hole Aged in Tequila Barrels? All right, the aroma on the tequila, Malkella. Big chocolate, coffee, espresso notes, you know, all those classic Imperial Stout notes are immediate right in the front. A little bit of the sweetness coming through, the honey, the, it's a very, very, not cloying, but there's definitely like a, a honey sweetness to it. And there's a weird vegetable-y, sweet, fruitiness coming through. And I'm thinking that might be the tequila barrel. There's a touch of woodiness in there. Yeah, because it must be the, like the, it's like an agave type of smell. It's a, a weird smelling beer, but it's really, really enticing. All right, guys, so the taste of the McKellar Black Hole Tequila. Cheers. Yeah, right at the front of the tongue. Nice, nice bitterness. Again, it's that classic Imperial Stout. You know, dark chocolate, espresso beans, just opening up the palate. Middle of the mouth, you start to get roasted qualities, a little bit of vanilla, lots of that sweetness starting to come out. I don't get a lot of the tequila barrel, you know, right at the initial taste. As I started to drink this more, as it warms up, I'm starting to get that more. And it doesn't taste like tequila. To me, it tastes like oaky woodiness mixed with like a ripe, or I'm sorry, like an unripened pear. It's a semi, like a very sweet, subtle, vegetable, hard fruit kind of character. And I'm thinking that's from the tequila. And my palate's kind of adjusting to it. And as it does that, the flavors are kind of, you know, morphing and changing. It's just a, a really, really interesting tasting beer. And 13%, I actually don't taste that at all. I feel a little bit of warming, but it's actually pretty easy to drink. I'm surprised. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the McKellar Black Hole Tequila Barrel-Aged Version, 13.1% available now, as well as some of the other barrel-aged versions of this beer. I'm going to give this one a B. Um, this is a solid B, definitely a lot better than the last version I have. The carbonation is awesome. It's just nice to have a beer like this with carbonation. This is a strange beer. You get those classic Imperial Stouts, you know, notes. There's a nice honey, that sweetness from the honey is in there to kind of step it up in the vanilla beans. But the tequila barrel aging really does something subtle. I don't, it's not intense. It does, it's a really subtle mark on this beer. Is it worth the money? You know, it's up to you. Um, I think it's a really interesting beer. It's a really cool kind of thought process that went into it. So with that said, it's going to get a B from me. Remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.